What's up guys, Jacob Ober here. Today we're going to be talking about the Green Bay Packers and where they should go following the firing of Mike McCarthy uh, yesterday. That, res that was a result of the loss to the 2-9 Arizona Cardinals at home that dropped the Packers to 4-7-1. I think at this point we can all agree that Mike McCarthy probably was it was time for him to go. I mean, he, he was a good head coach for the majority of his career in Green Bay, and I respect the things that he had accomplished with the Packers in his time in Green Bay, but it was time to move on. It was time for the Packers to move on, and that's exactly what they did. They fired him following the loss, and even though I was pretty surprised at the timing of the firing, I definitely agree with the decision to fire him, especially before the season was out, uh, tr to try and send a message that this kind of this standard of football really wasn't tolerated in Green Bay. And I talked about this in my reaction video following the firing of Mike McCarthy, but like I said, I think we can all agree that it was time for Mike McCarthy to move on from Green Bay, or for the Packers to move on from Mike McCarthy and get a breath of fresh air in at head coach. So now Joe Philbin will take over at head coach as the interim head coach for the final four games, but... Uh, with the firing of Mike McCarthy, I mean, this obviously begs the question. I mean, where are the Packers going to go in their head coaching search? To me, I think there are three names that I would want uh, as, at this moment uh, at head coach for Green Bay. And obviously, this can change as the offseason gets underway. And I'm sure that they will make a decision earlier on in the offseason so they can bring in whoever that they want to bring in to, to get them familiar with the Packers' organizational structure and get them a head start on like getting to know the team and everything and uh, kind of putting a plan in place for what they want to do uh, over the next few seasons. I mean, in my eyes, there are three candidates. And this is, by the way, this, is, this can change, right? like I said, this can change as the offseason gets underway. But uh, three candidates that I want, and this is in no particular order. One, of, one that comes to mind is Lincoln Riley of Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Sooners, the head coach of the Oklahoma Sooners right now. A lot of players that have played under him have come out and said that he is an offensive genius. And what do the Packers need right now? What have they been lacking this season and for the better part of the past few seasons? Creativity and innovation on offense. That's what they need in Green Bay right now on offense. And you can argue that the offense is the biggest reason why the Packers have the record that they do. And with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers at the helm and the offense to be this bad, it's unacceptable. The Packers need to be better offensively. And a lot of that, those struggles offensively, I believe, came from McCarthy's stale, boring, and old schemes and play calling that kind of hindered the Packers' success offensively this year and for the past few years in that, for that matter. So, uh... Lincoln Riley would bring a breath of fresh air for sure uh, in terms of uh, the offensive schemes, offensive play calling. I like a lot of the concepts that he runs at Oklahoma, and I might actually make a video where I go through uh, those offensive concepts and schemes, uh, and I might do that after uh, they maybe hire him or not. I'm not sure how high up or down on the list he is at this moment for the Packers, and obviously he's got his own things to worry about right now. He's the head coach of Oklahoma Sooners, and they are in the college football playoff right now, so uh, obviously this is this will, be, this will be talked about more and more as the offseason gets underway, but right now I, I kind of like the idea of hiring a guy like Lincoln Riley. I mean, I think he'd be a really good head coach. The only problem, though, that I would have is that how would the player dynamic work in Green Bay with a head coach that's barely older than many of the players that he would be coaching? Lincoln Riley's only 35. That's the same age as Aaron Rodgers, so how would he and the players get along together? Would Aaron Rodgers and Lincoln Riley... Uh, butt heads a lot? Would they see eye to eye? I mean, you have to be able to take that in con into consideration, not only with a younger head coach, but with any head coach that you hire. So that's the primary concern I have. But for the most part, I think that I would really like uh, Lincoln Riley in Green Bay due to his offensive innovation and the fact that he very well could be the next Sean McVay if indeed he comes to the NFL. So um, the second guy I want to talk about, and this might anger some fans that uh, uh, really don't like what happened last offseason with this person, but Josh McDaniels is high on my list for the Packers. He is. I like Josh McDaniels. I like what he has done with the New England Patriots, the consistent kind of offense that the Patriots have had for the better part of the past uh, five to ten years or so. And Josh McDaniels is a big part of that. I mean, he, he did have his head coaching stint in Denver that didn't really go that well. He was a lot younger then, though. I believe he's in his, he's 42 now, 44-ish, uh, so he has the benefit of hindsight now. He realized what went wrong in Denver when he was a head coach there, and he spent the better part of the past, let's see, he became offensive coordinator again for the Patriots in 2012, so... That would mean about six years. He's been offensive coordinator for the Patriots for the past six years, and he has been the mastermind behind a lot of the concepts that the Patriots offense runs. And a lot of people look at the Patriots offense and say, man, I wish it was that easy for everybody. So that's kind of intriguing to me. I mean, the fact that Josh McDaniels has had so much success with all those uh, undrafted and unproven guys on that offense 
and of course Tom Brady at the helm. I mean, imagine what he could do with an even more talented and a better quarterback in Aaron Rodgers. I mean, uh, I'd love to see what uh, he would have in store for the Packers. But like I said, I mean, integrity might play a factor. I mean, he did bolt from the Colts after taking their head coaching position last year. And I'm not sure exactly, nobody really knows what exactly the reasoning was behind that, but the fact of the matter is he said that he would agree to a contract, and then he left right at the last second. So integrity does matter in my opinion, and uh, if this guy is totally, totally on board and you can ink him to that contract and uh, get him in that press opening press conference, then I'm on board. But until then, I'd be a little bit wary if the Packers do in fact sign this guy. But I mean, I like, I like what he does with the Patriots offense, and I like the fact that he has hindsight now after his first head coaching uh, stint in Denver. So he would be another guy on my radar. And even though a lot of people don't like him for the Colts thing that happened last offseason, I think he'd be willing to give him another chance in Green Bay. So uh, the third guy I want to talk about, and this is another kind of out there one, or not really out there, but uh, more like, uh, more. I'd say this is probably more unlikely of the two to happen, but... Bruce Arians is a guy who I might want in Green Bay. Bruce Arians is, to me, a, a really, really good at working with quarterbacks and a guy who uh, recently revitalized the career of Carson Palmer, which was heading into the tank until uh, he met Bruce Arians and joined the Cardinals in the past few years. So Bruce Arians did retire a couple years ago, and he has been in retirement, and he has publicly said that the only head coaching job he would come out to take would be the Cleveland Browns one. But that was before a lot of people said that or there was the Mike McCarthy firing. That was before, like, all this uh, drama unfolded with the Green Bay Packers. And the opportunity to coach a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, I mean, this is a guy who worked with Peyton Manning, Bren Roethlisberger, Carson Palmer, Andrew Luck. He's, he made all those guys really, really good into what they are today or once were. So uh, that really intrigues me. That prospect really, really intrigues me. And the opportunity to work with the best talent we've ever seen at quarterback that might be an offer that he might not be able to pass up. And he was a two-time head coach of the year, uh, I believe in 2014 and 2016, or 2015 and 2016, I think. Uh, and he, he did uh, rebuild that uh, He did rebuild that Arizona Cardinals franchise. I mean, he made them a contender. And even though they didn't get the ultimate goal of winning the Super Bowl, he made them into a team that could get there. And that's that was impressive to me. I liked what he did in Arizona. And if he is willing to come out of retirement and come and coach Green Bay, I'd be all for it. So uh, he is a little bit on the older side, and I have had concern. I do have concerns with people who are over the age of 60 being a head coach. I, my ideal range would be 40 to 60 uh, for a head coach, but uh, and there's a question of maybe he might be out of touch or not, but I don't know. I think that he's done a really, really good job, and I really like his offensive concepts that he ran in Arizona as well. He had that offense as one of the best in the league when uh, he was in Arizona. So I would like I would like Bruce Arians. I would be, wouldn't definitely not be opposed to that, and I think he would be a pretty good fit as well. So. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say in this video. Those are the three guys who I would want at this point uh, the most to be head coach of the Green Bay Packers next season. And obviously this list can change. I mean, and it very well might change, and I might make another video with a different list of, of this. Or maybe I'll make a video where I, find, where I have or I decide on a – on a, on a head coach that I would want the most, like a video saying why Lincoln Riley should be the head coach of the Green Bay Packers next season or something like that. But until then, those are the three guys who intrigue me the most in the head coaching search. And like I said, that can change. There might be a name that pops up later that I might like more. And if so, I'll make another video uh, related to that person. But until then, guys, uh, it's going to be another four games for the Packers. So I'm going to obviously be making my uh, four, four more reaction videos. And uh, I'll be uh, uh, hoping that the Packers do a little bit better in this final stretch. I know a lot of people think that the Packers should tank and get a higher draft pick, which I guess I really wouldn't be opposed to. But at this point, I just want to see this team succeed. I mean, I know that it's been disappointing, and no matter what, it will be a disappointing year. But, I mean, seeing the Packers come out and uh, win four straight or, like, beat the Bears or something, you know, it'd be kind of encouraging to me. I, I, I'd, I'd be all for either thing happening. So... Anyways, guys, though, so thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me for this video. Um, well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, though. Do you, who do you think the head coach for the Green Bay Packers should be next season? Are there any candidates that I didn't talk about that you might want me to talk about? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, go Pack Go. I'll see you guys next time.